Hi, Zach here. I've been brewing a lot lately, and here's my raspberry wheat beer, just bottled, and a cherry mead, as well as a local plum wine, local cherries and local plums. Finally, I've been just now working on an elderberry wine. The trouble is I added way too much potassium metabisulfate. The trouble with this is the yeast won't start. Um, to be specific, I'm currently at 100 parts per million. People say throw it out at that rate. So I've decided to try using hydrogen peroxide and see if I can save this wine. Eh, if nothing else, I just throw it out like I would have. Here's the hydrogen peroxide, 3%. Basic medical grade hydrogen peroxide. I measured it out very specifically uh, via a formula that I will link to in the video description. So here's the exact amount that I measured it out to, and it's to reduce my sulfates from a little over 100 parts per million to about 20 parts per million, something that the yeast can survive in, but bacteria does not thrive in. Um, I need to add this to the wine and mix it pretty vigorously, and then wait between 3 to 10 hours in order to make sure that the reaction completes and that my sulfate content is where I want it to be. So after I've added it, I'm going to, like I said, mix it vigorously. In the meantime, um, I want to show you what this reaction looks like and um, how quickly this actually reacts just with potassium metabisulfite and 3% hydrogen peroxide. So here we've got our potassium metabisulfite and our 3% hydrogen peroxide. And this is about how much I added to the wine. And we can see how fast it reacts and how exothermic this reaction is. So once I add it, we can see it quickly reacts, bubbles off, creates sulfur dioxide, which I recommend you do this if you do this outside in a windy area like I am. And it gets quite hot. I mean, it's, it's a very exothermic reaction. And you can see that it, it has a pretty complete reaction. Um, I can test it later with a little bit more hydrogen peroxide and see that it didn't completely react, but it came pretty close. So I'm just hoping that I didn't use too much hydrogen peroxide as it doesn't boil off until well over uh, around 150 degrees celsius so it won't boil out of this liquid or just evaporate as easily as water will so i'm back almost a day later last night i added uh, new yeast to it because it wasn't bubbling again and i think we killed off all the original yeast and it seems to have worked wonders because now it is bubbling very well I don't know if you can hear it, but you can definitely see all the bubbles in there. And it is moving right along. I'll have to get back to you in another video if it tastes like wine or has any other odd or off flavors. As it'll be six months to a year before we really know how good it is. But in the meantime, I'll try it. And if it's terrible in the beginning, I'll let you know then and throw it out. Well, that's how hopefully we can solve a problem by adding too much potassium metabisulfite to our wine. Take care. Bye.